Next, let's talk about sex. Laura Korn is the author of the New York Times bestseller, 101 Nights of Great Sex, selling over 2 million copies. The 2017 edition is in stores on Amazon and at 101 Nights. Dot com. That's 101nights.com for you online people. There's also a mobile app. We're going to talk about that. Barbara Walters has said no one knows more about the art of seduction than Laura Korn. Visit Laura online for merch, blog, social media, and everything 101 Nights. Go to 101nights.com. Today, Laura shares her three suggestions on how to supercharge your love life. Please welcome back to the Mark Berman Show, just in time for Valentine's Day, one of our faves. This is Laura Korn. Welcome back. Yay! Wow, <laughs> what an intro. <laughs> I am impressive. <laughs> you are amazing. Wow. You are. Well, you know, the book, the book is just. It's a phenomenon. I mean, I mean, I, I can't even believe that I wrote it, actually, and that <laughs> I keep making it better, you know, with every edition. But, you know, to a book, a sex book, to sell almost 2 million copies is pretty phenomenal. It really, it, it tickles me. It just tickles me to death. <laughs> I, and, and I think what you've done truly is a phenomenon. It, it really is, because it, because you wrote it, I think twenty three years ago. Yet it still keeps, yes. it still keeps, it keeps gaining going. momentum. So uh, this is a great thing. You know, you know, I think the concept is so strong because when somebody looks at this book, they they do a second look. You know, they're they, they're confused. You know, they look at the book, but then when they get it, because when they see that the pages mark are stuck together, <laughs> they're like, uh, you know, guys are like, wait a minute, Corn, you took the phone out of them. Why did you stick the pages together? And I'm like, well, there's a reason. Um, because it's very unusual. You can't read 101 Nights Great Sex. So uh, you can't read the book. you got to do the book. Ah. And, yeah, see, that's the key. That's why it continues to sell. Because what guy, seriously, Mark, what guy have you ever met that has ever admitted or really ever bought a book on sex? Uh, actually, I, I don't think uh, I have found any. I think, it, I think, but the women, I think, have libraries, and I think your book is part of that library. I think it's, it's I, think, it, I think you're making yeah. sex great again. <laughs> and two million people are having better sex than most people. So, so, but you know what? It, because of the unique format where, you know, because guys aren't going to read a book on sex. So what usually happens is what, Mark? The woman buys the book on sex, right? She's reading about how to spice up her, you know, and all this stuff. But if the guy's not playing, if the guy's not on the same page and doing it with her, then what good is it? Think about it. You're right. So, do, do you know what I mean? So then how would you do a book where a guy would really get into it? Well, first, can't, there can't, you've got to give him something, a plan. You've got to tell him how to do it quickly, right? <laughs> got to give him the benefits. So in the way the book is set up is he rips out one sealed envelope in the book, right? Just one page. Oh, these are the secret sealed seductions. Right. So, yeah. So, he rips out an envelope, and, then, and, and what's cool is each envelope has a name. So, like, one of my favorites is Up Against the Wall. I love to get up against the wall. How about you? Uh, I'm, I'm a, I actually, actually, I'm doing this interview against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darn. Hello. <laughs> Didn't, while you're up there, pull my hair and don't ask any questions. Oh, this is excellent. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so let's say you whip out, you know, and, and you do it in front of her. So you both get the book, you open it up, you see these 101 sealed envelopes. Each envelope has a name. And it either says for his eyes only or for her eyes only. So he rips out up against the wall. So she's like looking at you going, damn. He's ripped out a page in a book, and he's going to surprise me. <laughs> that in itself is, like, so exciting for a woman, like, because it's anticipation, right? She doesn't know what you're going to do. In that envelope, I kind of, you know, I, I lay out a plan for you. So 
and sometime next in the next week or two, she's going to expect you to get her up against the wall. Ah, <laughs> that's now, it. Now, now, see. I've done all the hard work. I've done all <laughs> the hard work for you. The the book is foreplay, right? I. It is. It is. No, wait. It's foreplay. Oh, it's also foreplay. Okay. No, I got you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got you. you know, Laura, right across the street from where I live. In fact, I can yeah. see it from my condo. There's a place called Role Play. Now, should should Role Play become a staple on people's seduction bucket list in the bedroom? Um, that's a good question. I think. A certain amount, it's fun. It's playful to do it once in a while. I think it's, you know, just like there are 101 scenarios in this book. Some you're going to try for the first time and you're going to go, wow, I want more of that or that's not my cup of tea. But the, but the thing is to stay open yeah. and to try new things. I really think we should nurture novelty. I think that nurture novelty, novelty. I love that. Okay, go ahead. Right, oh, right. Yeah, that's cool. Because yeah, that's 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 what you got to do. Try new things, basically. But how do how would how do you? I mean, how do you bring new things into into the bedroom? You. I me, I choose different uh, '80s porn to watch each night. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> so 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 maybe i'm not watching a ron jeremy for my wife but maybe um i don't know a john holmes uh, the 80s porn yeah uh, <laughs> oh yes oh, so, you, so so that's your variety is, is the porn right yeah um, yeah it, you know can i say something in in, in my but bedroom but can i tell you it, something it doesn't does that get old no it, i mean doing the same thing no, because actually in, in my bedroom, we actually have a very and, – and I'm 64, okay? And and for some reason, I can't stop. I don't take any medications. But, you know, uh, me personally, um, I guess I got it from my dad. Uh, I'm a horny guy. I, I can't and, – and my wife is the best partner that I could have, have ever had in my life. Uh, we've been together 25 years. And in my relationship, and I don't think that I'm every person, but I think I'm pretty damn close, sex is very, very important in a relationship. It, it, right. it is. And, and that is a, a driving force in my relationship with my wife, that we are great partners in everything that we do. And we're great partners there, too. So, yes, we introduce different things all the time because variety is the spice of life. Right. Um, does she um, – I mean, how often do you have sex? I'd be bragging if I said. <laughs> well, please do. I want to know. I mean, because that's an amazing thing that you just said, 25 years. Yeah, we're married. And you're still having great sex. Because four times a week. Make it four times a week. You what? Serious. Four times a week. Four Seriously. times I, a I, week. I mean, see, I'm bragging, but it's my. But other people probably may have more. But it, for me, average that. Yeah, I, because it's it it. You know, I, I guess it's part of the total package of a great relationship between uh, two people. And would you say in your marriage that you've pretty much experienced almost everything? Um. I think we've experienced almost everything between a, a heterosexual couple. We haven't brought same sex into it, but uh, but as far as different types of, um, I guess seduction, yeah, we've we've tried uh, lots of different things, toys, you name it. See, I'm giving away a lot. Right what now. is? <laughs> what is? Um, okay, so we know you love '80s porn. Yeah. <laughs> what, okay, I need to know what is your favorite sexual activity? Um, hmm, that, my... that 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 your your go to if you want to have a quick orgasm. Um, actually, my wife turns me on, so actually, just regular. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess. Uh huh. Yeah, or her. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. That's, oh my God! I just love you. Well, you, I, I adore you. Well, here's why, and and I think I may have said this to you before. The the reason that we are here from the beginning of time 
is what your book's about, because without that, we wouldn't be here, correct? Think about right. it. That's what created right. us. Well, that's not a bad or dirty thing if you can read the book and come up with different ways to be creative without necessarily creating a human being. But sex is here. It's not going away. You can't take it away. People can't take it away. They can't pass a law that says there'll be no more sex. It's here. And it's one of the most <laughs> pleasurable things on earth. And you freaking wrote about it. Isn't that amazing? See? Well, what's amazing is not only did I write about it, I've it's the book is a phenomenon now, and it's just amazing. But but why is it okay? So you're one in you're one in a million. I mean, if I would I would say maybe I was a hundred million, because somebody that's been married twenty five years, in all honesty, and what I know about couples, yeah, so many couples are in a sexless, almost completely sexless relationship. You do know that, right? No, I I think it's obvious because the nation seems to be very angry these days. And I think that that a lot of anger is caused by lack of nookie. I I really feel that. So, Absolutely. Absolutely. So then what is your best advice? I mean, so... I, don't you think though they want to start loving sex again? Yeah, turn off that the they, that, yes, turn off the news in the bedroom, and just enjoy the person you're in bed with. I, I, great turn, advice. Turn, now, have you now one hundred one nights of great sex? Is this based on you experiencing this and and writing about it? Do you do you love the uh, the activity of sex? I, I love the intimacy that it brings. Ah. I love the closeness. I want ah. to be touched. I ah. want to be, <clears throat> and I want to do it in a, in a variety of ways, right? I want to be playful. I want to be naughty. I want to be dirty. I want to be, you know what I mean? I, I love this openness. <clears throat> I love the openness. Okay, keep going. Right. <laughs> no, because I mean, you and I, I, right now, with this talk, okay, we're creating foreplay for my listeners possibly tonight. And they may be thinking about the Berman show tonight in bed. Oh, can you imagine that? Hold on. Let me think about that for a second. In bed, thinking about what they heard on the Berman show. Well, there. <laughs> now, see, <laughs> that's an aphrodisiac just for me to think about that. So, okay. Oh, Okay. <laughs> well, sometimes you know what I do. I lie. I lie in bed and I think, how many orgasms am I responsible for? <laughs> and then that gets me excited. <laughs> oh, by the way, you really. <laughs> I yeah. I, yeah uh, uh, by the way, the thought of multiple orgasms uh, excites me also. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You you can you have multiple? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm wor- No, I've been sixty four years. I've been working on it, but um, I'm trying. I'm, st- I'm going to try. To, I'm going to perfect it soon. I started right out of the womb, so I have 64 years of of trying. I'm I'm working on it. <laughs> what about tantric sex? Do you like tantric? Uh, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that sting thing where you rest inside of her and you build up the tumescence and. And you hold off, and you kind of you're supposed to be having multiple orgasms, but nothing's really coming out. If you know what I mean. Oh, hold on! <laughs> I'm going to write that down. I'm going to try it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is. Oh, by the way, you have a copy of 101 Nights of Great Sex. I'll tell you which one that is. Okay. It's called. Um, it's a for his eyes only page. Yeah. And oh, hold on, it's called just just a breath away. And uh, it's just called, oh, 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 here it is. It's number 17. So if you'd like to try a little tantric sex. And by the way, breathing involved, yeah. right after we speak, and my listeners listening, okay, my listeners, yeah. get, get ready to call because we're giving away a copy of the book. After this interview, we've been telling you all day, so and we've been telling you all week, get ready. It happens after the interview. So, don't turn off. Stay tuned. Okay, go ahead. Yes, we're going to give away a copy. Of uh, <laughs> well, I have I have something that I've never said, I've told anyone before. Okay. That I can reveal, because you would think, you know, I've written over five, I guess five hundred seductions. 
in my life. So 500 scenarios. And a lot of the seductions that are in 101 Nights of Great Sex come, the ideas are based on the most popular male fantasies, sexual fantasies, and female sexual fantasies. Because I'm really somebody that just does a lot of research. So I wish I could say that this comes from my steamy imagination, but a lot of it is based on what I know men and women need sexually from research. And all I do is put it in a nice, you know, time-released format, which is the sealed envelope or the mobile app. It's now a mobile app. So you can add anticipation and and excitement. (laughs) But I just did something two weeks ago. And your show... It's the first show I'm going to tell you. Oh, no. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, let's talk about it. Okay, do you know what what collaring is? Uh, That's where you get Crayola and you go into a book and you fill between the lines with colors. That's (laughs) coloring. Do do you know what um, a collaring ceremony is? No. Unless, unless my wife and I have a, a dog collars and we uh, lead each other around the oh, room with them. Oh, similar. Okay. Give the guy a cigar. <laughs> so you can give me the cigar if you it, know what I mean. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I follow the presidency 100%. Every, every president. <laughs> I am a, I'm a political junkie. <laughs> okay. Well, I have used the cigar. Um, uh, (laughs) Well, anyway, so I decided I was going to do a little experiment like Fifty Shades of Grey where he, um, we had a ceremony, he put a collar around my neck. And right now we, I am um, very much like Fifty Shades of Grey. I'm, I'm doing the submissive. He's my dominant and I'm the submissive. Oh, I... Now see, just now hold mm-hmm. on. Not that there's anything yep. wrong with that, right? <laughs> so <laughs> I am wearing the collar right now. So uh, <laughs> it's it's interesting. I mean, it's again, it's new, it's playful. That's all it's meant to be, and a Laura. lot of new experiments. Laura, yes. my what? listeners know we were taped. This interview is taped, so we taped it this week. Now, uh, right now it's eleven thirty-eight, which means it's eight thirty-eight out there. Do you like morning sex? Because you're wearing your collar. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, you know what I like? I like bagels. I like Sunday porn and bagels. Oh, you know what? That's a novel idea. That's I, the best. I I think that that's uh, I I think that's great bagels and cum cheese cream cheese uh, that would be that would be absolutely great that would be absolutely great are you kidding me what are you kidding this is <laughs> what do you, you know I mean, porn with corn on Sunday morn oh that is come on that is priceless. <laughs> you know what? You you're great. I'd have you on every week. We got about two minutes <laughs> left. Can you do me a favor, real quick? Tell us about the app. Okay. Well, the app is very much the 101 Nights of Great Sex. It's yeah. at Google and 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 Apple, of course. It's just like 101 Nights of Great Sex, the book, except you both have to download the app, right? Uh huh. You download the app, but there is there's actually a for his eyes only app and for her eyes only app. So I can't I can't peek in your app. You can't peek in my app. But they kind of interlock together. So when I choose a seduction, like uh, my favorite, she's out of control, number 25, I'm the guy. I choose number 25. I pick it. It sends me, the woman, a notification that you are going to surprise me sometime in the next week. And the seduction is called number 25, she's out of control. So the app sends the woman an invitation to join your partner for a night of great sex oh and and again and and during the week the app will also send me teases and clues what number 25 could possibly be so it drops hints so talk about anticipation it's literally foreplay for the internet age i think it's absolutely amazing because we're so preoccupied with everything that's going on yeah, it's tap, tease, oh. seduce. That's how easy it is. This is 
this is great. I do have a question. In the 2018 yes. version. <laughs> I'm, 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 I, I know what I'm doing. I'm calling okay. you. Okay. Before the, I do this edition. Well, I want to know, based on the the um, the photos and the events of the past couple days, will vagina headgear be a seduction tool? <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I think that I'm, wait a minute. Yes, the march oh, in Washington yes, had women yes. wearing wearing vagina headgear. Yes, 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 of course. Um, <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Um, what I'm going to do is use it in my way, and I'm going to buy penis headgear and see if it turns my wife on. <laughs> Everything you do turns her on. I'll try. I you must. I wish I could be. I wish I could watch. Um, I want to see a master. I. I mean, I, I already have my master, but I bet you are a master at seduction. Are you not? Are you not a master at seduction? I, I could help all my listeners right now. Um, I'll just say, and and my co-host is sitting right here. My my wife is my co-host. Uh, Sue's. Uh, I don't know. Let's do it, wanna? There you go. I just seduced her. That was... <laughs> You're so good. I, I mean, oh my god. I, you know, it's just uh, crazy. So, Laura Corn, you are an amazing guest. I love having you on. My listeners, you must, you must go pick up the book, pick up the app. It's at one o one nights. Dot com. Laura, I look forward to talking to you next year, right before uh, Valentine's Day. Yeah, let's not wait so long. I would have you back whenever let's you want. Do a show. Let, yeah, let's do a show and where I, I, uh, uh, I can test your seduction IQ. I would love I it. I already know it's off the charts. Well, I don't know I about that, but thank love. you. <laughs> I will. Let's do it in the spring when, when uh, mating season. I you know, with you, it's always mating. Season. I think that would but be let's great. Let's do a spring show. Does that I, sound fun? Absolutely. My wife and I walk through Atlantic City, and it's, I'm such a chick magnet, we have to fight them off. So this is just a, an amazing thing. <laughs> Laura, hold the line. I want to talk to you off air to my listeners. Here's what I'd like you to do. Amazon. Tell them to go to Amazon. Oh, that's right. It's go to Amazon. Yeah. Pick up the book. It's also at 101nights.com, and it's in select stores. It's simple. Go to 101nights.com, pick up the book. To my listeners, here's what to do. 609-927-1100. On your mark, get set. Somebody's going to help with the book. Call now.